Yo, what's going on guys? Matt back here. I just want to do a small tackle warehouse unboxing for you guys here. I got everything laid out. Um, I only opened one thing because I really wanted to check it out. I couldn't wait. But um, I thought I'd go through what I got today. And I got a few other reels that I've picked up over the past couple weeks I want to show you as well. But right here, we got the Savage Gear Lures 3D Snake. I'm really excited about this lure. This is the 8-inch version. And it's actually not as big as I would have thought. It's actually pretty small i mean it looks like a big lure but not as big as i uh, thought it was going to be it weighs one ounce and i will take it out of the package here in a second after i go through some of that other stuff but i'm really stoked to try that lure out that's in uh just a solid black then i picked up some omega jigs here we got their football style here this is a three-fourth ounce this is in table rock color kind of like a brown craw Got some purple strands in it there. Here's another one right here. This is in a half ounce. And this is Green Pumpkin Blue Flash. So it's like almost like a green, or I mean like a uh, blue crawfish color. Green pumpkin with that blue tint. Here we got another one here. This is I'm gonna be using this for their skipping jigs. This is a 17 7 16th ounce in green orange this is like i think this is their flipping pitching jig where you're able to skip in our docks a lot easier with that uh flat head underneath there it skips really well here we got another football one this is in bama color this is like the bama bug for soft plastics green pumpkin a little bit of blue with purple in it right here we got another flipping pitching jig in just a watermelon red color 7 16th ounce and now I picked up some of these right here too because of Mikey Ball's fishing. He says to get the obese. And this is watermelon red. And I also got a uh, Copperfield color here. And he says uh, in one of his videos that these work really well for a good bite on the back of a jig. And you just pull it along the bottom there. And with these uh, obese, he says they're very... Uh, I'll take one out for you guys just so you guys can see here. They got a lot of action to them, so when you're pulling them, they uh, they give out a really nice action to them while you're pulling it along the bottom. So there's the obese right there. That's the 5-inch, and you can see there it gives a really nice action. You barely even got to move your hand, and that thing's going crazy. So while you're pulling that along the bottom, this thing's just going to be going up and down up and down so you put that on on the back of one of your jigs and he says uh get some pretty big bites so i can't wait to try that out um i've tried cinco's before on like smaller jigs but i've never used such a big cinco or a big jig before to uh pull it on the back so i'm going to throw this uh three fourth ounce and put that on the back of a jig and see how it does i'm kind of curious and uh, the last bait we have here, this is the Lunker Hunt Commotion. I got this bait just because of the color. I thought it would actually look pretty cool. Kind of like a black crackle style. Uh, top water lure. This is a half ounce version. Three and five eighths inch. Obviously it's a popping style looter. Lure. Looter. Wow. Top water style lure. So that's the baits I got right there. Pretty pumped about that. And then uh, let me take out the snake really quick so you guys can get a closer look at that. All right, here it is out of the package. As you can, as you can see, really detailed. That thing just looks amazing. Really, really realistic. All the way down, all these joints, all the way to the tail. And this scene is just going to swim like a real snake, I swear. It looks so good. I cannot wait to throw it. Really nice hooks on there. Really sharp black nickel. Bottom's just pure black. A little more shine to it underneath, as you guys can see. Compared to the uh, top, which is more of a uh, matte finish, it looks like. So again, that's the 8-inch version there. Just looks really, really nice. I can't wait to try it out. And I'll definitely be picking up the 12 inch version as well because uh, I live in Illinois, so I always want to throw a little bit smaller stuff. But with this 8 inch, I have no doubt that some bass are going to smash this thing. So there's that. 
And then I wanted to show you guys some of the reels I picked up. Um, I picked up two of the Shimano SLX. This is the 150 HG here. Pull out of the package. Comes with its own oil there. I'm going to send these in to get uh, oils. And I'm going to put uh, Boca bearings on these guys. So here it is. This is the SLX Shimano 150 HG. It's got that blue tension knob there. The blue spool. Blue SLX on the side. Sick looking reel. Really smooth. And again the uh, HG is the 7.2 gear ratio reel there. I can't wait to try this bad boy out man. It's going to be sick. And the braking in there is, uh, I believe, the six pins in there that you can uh, adjust. There's six of them in there. I have uh, just two of them turned on. Uh, I won't put more than two turned on and uh, kind of going to just mess with it and see how it does with two braking. And then may just go to one, but I think two is pretty good for this reel. So I got one of those. That's a 7.2. And then I went ahead and picked up another one here. This is the XG, so this is the, I believe this one's 8.2 gear ratio. Again, they all come with its own uh, oil or lube right there, which is pretty cool. A lot of reels don't do that anymore. They just come pretty, pretty blank and dry. Yeah, this one's the 8.2 here, so. Sick reels, man. For 100 bucks, you can't beat it. Um... I got one off a of Taco Warehouse for 100 and then I bought another one online from a guy brand new, not even used, for 60 bucks. So I thought that was a steal. So those are actually really slick reels, and I cannot wait to try them out. So there's the Shimano SLX. Got the XG and the HG, and then I got two other reels here for you guys to see. Alright, then I went ahead and picked up two Daiwa Tatula 100s. If I can open it with one hand here, record it with my phone. So here's one of them right here. I think I got a seven, a seven gear ratio and a six three. Yeah, here, here's the six three gear ratio. The braid's kind of messed up on there. I haven't taped it down or nothing. I put a thirty pound J braid on there. Another slick looking reel. Again with these, these are like the no adjustment reels so like the tension knob is super super hard to move you're not really supposed to move it they have it set up where it should be ready to go right out of the box star drag on there you got the tiwi system on the front you can go to the side you get the uh your braking right there and then it's got that little spider design on the side there Again, another slick working reel for 160 bucks. Really nice. I can't wait to pick up a few more. Um, I'm going to be getting a couple more of the Tatula 100s. Probably like two more. And then I'm going to get two of the 150s, which is just a little bit more stronger, powerful reel with a bigger handle. I'm going to use that for uh, punching and maybe some swim baits. And then I'm going to pick up some of the steezes as well. Uh, a lot more expensive. Uh, the steez is run around 500 bucks, but they're super lightweight. The steez is weigh like 5.4 ounces. Um, you can see this has a black spool. You can see the, the other one. It's got the red on the push button there. Again, here's the 7-1. Really nice reel. I can't wait to try these out. I haven't even used them yet. Brand new, so can't wait to use them for this season. Slick reels, man. Again, I'm going to send these in to uh, get Boca bearings and just have them uh, oiled and greased properly. But there they are, guys, and that's the Tackle Warehouse order. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I always love talking to you guys, and hope you guys are all doing well. I'm not sure what I'm going to order next. Um, probably going to focus on some reels. I bought, I bought a bunch of new rods, too, uh, that I'm going to show you guys in a separate video. Um, I bought some Pals, and I got some Enigma rods, and uh, a few others. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Matt, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.